hello today i thought i would do a really quick chat just talking about my upcoming poetry book titled chrome so i'm just going to get straight into it why is it called chrome what's chrome and what relevance does that have to a poetry book chrome is relevant to classic cars typically classic cl classic cars classic cars are decorated with chrome so the edges of the cars and this is typically a design aspect it's simply just for the aesthetics but i loved the idea of calling my next book chrome because i wanted to write about my own classic car which is a 1964 and a half ford mustang i've owned it for close to 10 years and have been wanting to write a book like this or a book exactly like this for about five years so <laughs> As you can imagine, I'm extremely excited to finally share this with you all. Currently the book is available for pre-orders, I can leave all the links in the description below, but let me continue discussing more about Chrome. I really loved the idea of writing about my car for many reasons. It has not only snapped a lot of necks, <laughs> but it has also met a lot of people I no longer know. So I felt like there's this untold story I really needed to share with the world. So that was really the inspiration behind Chrome. I also remember prior to buying my car, I just thought it was pretty. <laughs> I didn't know anything about cars. I didn't know how to change the oil, change the tires. I didn't even know there was such a thing as something called brake fluid. So I didn't realize the impact a car like this can have. What I mean by that is taking care of things so they last. This car is from the 60s and it's still running because it's consistently being maintained. So the analogy of that, thinking about people in our lives, I just loved the, I just loved thinking about all those different aspects when it came to writing this book. On top of that, I have met some of my most favorite people simply from owning the car that I do within the Mustang community or just people who appreciate classic cars. I've written really honestly and openly about my experiences within this book. <laughs> I laugh because I remember this one particular story that I have, I have actually written about is when, like I said earlier, I didn't know there was something called brake fluid. I didn't know that was a thing. I had zero clue. I started the car, I went to reverse down the driveway and put my foot on the brakes and I was doing this like my foot was okay this is the metal this is my foot I was still reversing down the road because the brakes were not working <laughs> and thank god no cars were behind me but I had to um, reverse and steer the car into my neighbor's driveway to stop to actually stop the car from reversing <laughs> then put it back in gear and drove up back the hill to my house and long story short there that's when I learned what brake fluid was. <laughs> Just stories like this over the past almost 10 years of owning my car, I have written about and I just genuinely hope it gives the people who read it, including you, the joy that I have while driving this car or just the experiences I've had throughout the almost 10 years. It's genuinely a lot of fun. I also did the illustrations within the book. I'll just quickly show some. That's one. Uh, and that's just another random page that I flicked to. But yeah, uh, I think there's about 20 something illustrations. But fun fact about the illustrations. <laughs> I actually got a pretty severe hand injury when I was doing the illustrations because I was just nonstop. I was just illustrating from wake to sleep. It, it even hurt to touch. Here, it felt like a really bad bruise. Couldn't even pick anything up without hurting. Um, doctor's orders were that I had to rest for a month. We both know I didn't do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I started illustrating with my left hand and then once my right hand healed, I just went over the lines. <laughs> I was just so excited to know that this book was finally going to happen because like I said, it has been kind of a five month process for me where I have really wanted to write a book like this about my car and the experiences I've had. So I was just excited to, <laughs> to do it. <laughs> Looking back as well, I'm so glad that I was really patient 
like I said, it, I wanted to write about this for close to five years and I'm glad I was really patient because there's a lot of growth, particularly in my writing, but also the story and the way that I have written the book. I'm just very grateful things have happened the way that they have in terms of timing and finally seeing this come to fruition. <laughs> if you are watching this and you're kind of thinking, wow, she's already done her fourth book and I haven't done one or whatever it is that you may be comparing yourself to, don't. <laughs> and I know it's easy for me to say that, but I'm saying that because although you may not see the light at the end of the tunnel, it's taken me, like I said, five years to curate a book like this. So it is important to be patient, as hard as that is, when you're really passionate about something. But also understand that everything happens in the time that is right for it in that moment. So if you are not given the opportunity at this current moment to do the thing that you want to do, maybe there's something else you should work on or work toward that will help you get there. I think something that can tie us down or make us hesitate in terms of completing a project or something we want to achieve is the fear of it being a failure but i think the only failure would be a failure to try so it doesn't matter what it is just keep trying just keep persevering and try to be as patient as possible <laughs> that's something i actually really struggle with <laughs> so the perspective i have when it comes to my books and my writing and anything that I'm passionate about. Regardless if I sold one book or a hundred thousand books, what I think makes my work a success is that it is 100% driven by passion and completely authentic to the person that I am. So stay passionate, stay true to yourself and just keep going. I think after this my cheeks are really gonna hurt from smiling so much. <laughs> it will be released on the 5th of August but currently open for pre-orders I will list all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time. Bye. Oh, wait, before I go, if you do grab a copy, if you do pre-order, please do let me know and I would absolutely love to hear what you think after you've read it or even during, whatever. Thank you. <laughs>